Hi, Chris. This is a great video for Chris to remind you how to do something in case you forget. All righty. So these are uh, for our temporarily titled Poly Legend. This is how we are going about getting this wonderful color here. So um, I have. Let's take that off. So we've got Unicorn A, which is right here. And so first thing I'm going to run is, I'm already forgetting some of this. So vacuum shaders, mesh materializer. Um, and I need to make sure I have the source object set up right to do default material, fine, whatever. Um, surface type. That's interesting. Original or flat. Huh. Uh, let's go with original because it put out um, a low number of polygons. So I'm going to do it the same way I did it before. Uh, the texture and color is needed. Main text has to be set, underscore main text has to be set. Uh, don't need to do bitmaps or set blur. Um, I didn't do ambient occlusion the first time but there might be something to that um eh, probably not it's probably just going to make it look dirty um and so mesh compression high gpu ox optimize under vertex data to include um i made sure to take off all the uvs because those are useless uh since we're not going to be having texture mapped at all and then it's hiding the resource after that so we hit generate and it puts it in like a temp folder if i recall yeah so then we can close mesh materializer now we have this thing which is pretty ugly uh but it's low number, I think it's the same number of polys and stuff. So all well and good, MM Unicorn A. So uh, next bit, Mesh Simplify. Um, so I did, I did about 41% before in Compute Mesh. Now, this has a problem with areas that should be more detailed here. It's going one-sided with the main. And so adding a sphere of influence, and the big thing is making sure to get all of the pieces of the main in that. And then of course, making sure to actually crank that up uh the influence amount otherwise it doesn't even do anything and so we'll try that again and so yeah now we can see we've got ourselves a nice low poly mesh the um interesting that eye is kind of gone a little bit um so Maybe I'll raise that a hair. Let's try that again. Um, well, that looks awful. Um, OK, so we'll lower this. And then we can always add um, another sphere and set it much smaller. Uh, and then just put that on the eye. Um, okay, I think that's pretty well on the eye. And then we'll set that to a little bit influence, but not an enormous amount. So it should keep the eye um, clearer-ish. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want it that clear. So, um, so maybe zero point one. There we go. Okay, so now we have a unicorn with two actual eyes. And um, so we can take this thing, MM Unicorn A final, why not? Um, and uh, of course, don't forget to enable prefab usage. And so we'll put this under here, um, MM Unicorn A final dot asset and um i think i can go ahead and select the uh that's no good uh unicorn mm unicorn a final drag that down here so we have prefab now going back to the original unicorn itself unicorn a we have our materials and such and I can drag the prefab in here and see what this looks like. Um, yeah, that looks really good with the eye and stuff. And the main, as you can see on this side. And we've got the color and whatnot. There is absolutely no um, material. I mean, there is a material, but there's actually absolutely no texture. It's just a unlit uh, texture. Now, of course, I'm going to swap that out with custom shaders of my own later, um, but that doesn't matter for now. And then the actual mesh that we have here, 4105, 3369 versus the original 6056. And 9605. So we've seen a significant drop in vertices from that to that, which is actually um, usually not the case when you're moving to um, a poly mesh, especially something like this, where they these ones have like 20,000 some odd things. This one doesn't, but the others do. And this one has the main problems and doesn't have eyes. Um, this one also has more details with some of these uh, upper elements. So um, at that point, I can keep the animations from the original and the avatar from the original. I can delete everything else. Um, you know, I should be able to actually, uh, on this thing, I could probably go ahead and select a shader here of well i'm gonna need an unlit shader that pulls the color but i'm gonna need a lit shader that pulls the color that's what i'm gonna need so i'll have to create that in shader forge some other time but that is the tutorial for myself on how to do a unicorn as we like to say